our world was so close. Poverty was at its lowest levels in the history of humanity. We understood the threat climate change posed, how conflict and violence could undo all we had made, how corruption hurt the poorest, how the young needed jobs, and how women were still left behind. We tried, but it wasn't enough, or fast enough. So the oceans rose, and deserts expanded. The hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, fires, storms were devastating. Governments collapsed. Millions were without work. The poor suffered the most, and then the wars over resources intensified. This could be our future, but we chose a better path. Our ideas transform the future and change people's lives. We don't wait for the fighting to end to help those in need, and make sure disease doesn't escape the borders of conflict. We help people rebuild their lives, creating jobs of the future, and empowering women to fulfill their potential. Making sure those with disabilities were not ignored or excluded, and when it comes to climate change, we face it head on with new ideas by giving hope to those it displaces. And building resilience through climate-smart agriculture. We are building strong, capable institutions accountable to the people. We are adopting renewable energy as quickly as possible, working alongside the private sector and using technology to change the game. With new ideas, we can change the storyline and create new skilled jobs, helping girls get the education they want. If we can improve the education and skills of all women in Zambia, then the sky is the limit. Don't stop. Keep building. Keep banding together. Keep working with new partners across borders, across disciplines, and attacking these challenges creatively. We are rising to these challenges. Let future generations say, given the challenges, they did their best, and so we can do better.